What happened when homesteaders pioneered the American West? First came the farms. Towns sprouted up to serve the farms. What happens when seasteaders build algae farms on the sea? Floating towns will emerge to serve the farms. Dutch companies like Delta Sink and Water Studio have already built floating parks, floating houses, and floating pavilions. And they're working on a floating apartment house. These are designed as snap-on modules with floating electricity units and water purification units which already serve the sea folk. These are only baby steps in their long-term plan to design floating eco-cities. Karina Shapeska and Rutger de Graaf are executing a plan to transform the world's coastal cities into water purification systems. These Dutch engineers are masters of what they call biomimicry, and they want to model cities after plants. It's a new way of, uh, of creating a city. It's a, it's a dynamic city, it's not a static city. A floating urbanization is a very good way to have flexible and climate robust urbanization in these vulnerable areas. So one of the major opportunities that floating urbanization offers is that you can use the water as an energy source. Water is a very good uh, solar collector, so you can use heat pumps to uh, heat your buildings with heat from the water, with uh, hardly any impact on these uh, large water systems. At the same time, in summer, you can also use this water to cool houses. It's much more energy efficient and you no longer need fossil fuels to heat and cool your houses. And uh, we calculated that compared to conventional heating of buildings, it's a CO2 reduction of 60%. Rutger and Karina say that if you look at civilization as an organism, cities are parasites. Karina says they extract water, nutrients, food, fertile soil, dump it into the oceans, and give nothing back. To say this is not sustainable is an understatement. Rutger says it's estimated that in 2050, the equivalent of three planets will be required to supply the world's population with their needs. According to Delta Sync's figures, humanity has a choice. Either we build two extra Earths or cultivate less than 1% of the ocean. Their solution? Cyclical metabolism. So what uh, I propose here is a cyclical metabolism where the floating city is going to use all that waste products to create uh, food, to create biofuel and to produce food and to supply that back to the city. So it's really a collaboration between the land cities and the water cities. Rutger claims any coastal city can environmentally and economically pay for itself with an offshore floating city. No money would need to change hands. Floating cities and coastal cities would trade wastewater for food and fuel. Rutger calls this a non-monetary symbiotic economic model. Once this relationship is established, the blue economy will be underway. The Netherlands plans to set an example for the world about how to rethink the relationship between civilization and nature. Rutger and his team estimate that with 13% of the human population living on the water, humanity will achieve harmony with nature at any size population. Who are seasteaders? We are the 13% who will be living on floating ocean cities in 2050. Uh, we very much welcome collaboration. We need all the help we can get uh, and this thing will only succeed if we do it together. So it's not, it's not my personal thing, it's not a Rotterdam thing, it's not even a Dutch thing, but it's a global thing. And I think we need all the, the intelligence and creativity uh, to really make this happen. Click on the issue you care about below and maybe we can convince you to join our growing seasteading community.